Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. So it's uh, day 77 of playing chess here on chess.com. I'm currently ranked 1701 and we're going to play a 10 plus 0 rapid game. Try to, you know, play some good chess and uh, get a victory. Here we go. All right. So opponent 1699 from the US. Um, they play the Alakine's defense. I believe... I can go here. What was my move here? Hold on. I had this before. I'm just going to develop. Yeah, I'm just going to develop. Knight c3. Bishop c4, maybe. Sometimes they go d5. Oh, that's, that's when we trade and I play bishop c4. Okay. Yeah, that's the... I was trying to remember the, the move pattern. So most of the time they go d5 takes takes and then bishop c4. Yeah, here we go. Here and then bishop c4. And I think queen f3 is the is the theory. Alright. So I think knight out makes sense. D4 makes sense as well. Uh knight f3 pins me with g4, h3. Um I wanna get a, go for a quick castles here. Um, and then maybe play d4 after. Okay, let's go. Let's go h3. Oh, it does take. Interesting. Okay. And he plays knight c6. So I can play. Um, actually, I can't play d4. All right, so I'll just castle and then play d3. And then, uh, yeah, just develop my pieces. D4, he just takes, and then I take. But I'm giving up my D pawn for the B pawn. Just kicks me out. Yeah, not sure about that. Could go check. You could block. And two pieces, nah. I mean, that doesn't really seem to work out for me. So D3 seems like the better option. And maybe bishop g5, bishop f4, maybe bishop f4 to threaten knight b5. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Okay, so yeah, d3 seems logical. Let's play d3. Queen on f3 is, uh, I think it's well placed. The knight doesn't have any forward jumps. This knight does have the d4 square, but I'll just, you know, move somewhere. Okay, so he prevents knight b5. So he anticipated that. Okay, maybe uh, let's get the bishop out. Right? Hmm. Actually, h6 was a... By h6, a, a6 was a pretty decent move there. I should just put my uh, my pieces in the center, I guess. Yeah, I wanted to play d4. Okay, well, let's play rook e1. Maybe this made sense, although he forks me. I think he's a bit better here, actually. Maybe playing d4 right away was correct instead of uh, going knight f3 earlier. Like right at the beginning. Right, it does go for that. Yeah, I have to actually go back now, which is the annoying part. Okay. All right, so he goes after my bishop. Nothing I can do there. Maybe after this... Seems so passive here. Just go. Uh, let's go back. Knight e2 to get rid of the knight. But then again, I block my rook. So actually, I'm not really liking my position. Now I can move the queen, though, because the bishop protects c2. Okay, so he goes after my bishop. I should probably just take here. 
you know. And uh, maybe I should just go here. Go after the bishop. Maybe knight c5. I did miss that, actually, for some reason, which is very, very simple move, to be honest. If I go here, takes, ah, it's protected. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, here's bishop. I mean, no, I can just go back here. Um, where's the knight going? Can go back to d4. Okay, let's go. I mean, if I just go here, then I run into this. That knight move is really annoying, so I might just have to play like c3 or something. I just don't want his knight jumping into the center. It's too powerful. <clears throat> Getting outplayed here. Getting outplayed. Okay, now go here. I just missed this move, by the way. Check. Yeah, not the best game by me. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting uh, smoked here. <clears throat> Bishop is there. Can't do this right now. Go in here, push. Takes, seems okay. Let's put the rook in the center. This is a really annoying knight on f5. Wish I could get rid of it somehow. G4 just weakens my king quite a bit. He's got this... You know, these diagonals here that he could reroute to. Tough game. Again, this looks good, but it just doesn't do it. Push here. Here. Seems all right. Push, takes, takes. Um... I don't see anything else for me. Stop defending this. Okay, let's push. And then we can reroute this way at least. C4, bishop c2. It's a bit closed on the, on the queen's side and he can't play knight d4. And then if he takes, takes, I keep pushing and I try to break open on e6 or something. Takes, takes, takes. It's going to be pinned. And then I could... Maybe knight g3 attacks it, it goes here. Then this opens up. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so how do we... How do we put some pressure? If I go check, he picks this up, he's still protecting this. Take, take, take. Um. I don't see the advantage there. Yeah, I don't see the advantage there. Knight g3 attacks this. He's going to push e5. But then my bishop is more active. Um, okay, let's do this. do this. This gives us this square. And I can attack it again. 
and then this th sets up a, th a mate threat. What if I go here? Does that work? This is protected and he can't like check me and get away. Knight f5 is incoming as well. He goes e5. He's up two pawns. What is he up? Yeah, he's up two pawns. Yeah, right. He won this pawn and then he won a pawn in the center. Hmm. So he just gives it up, huh? So if I take, 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 I can get out. Let's do that. Okay, now really wanna I don't know if I should trade queens here. My back rank is a bit weak. Okay, let's go she let's go here. Let's go here. Let's hide my king and uh two pieces for the rook. I want him to trade because then I'm looking at this, uh, the G7 pawn. He does have these two pawns, which is hard to stop. Go in here makes sense. Actually, I can't go there. Okay. Mm. Let's go here. Threatening this. Here, here. Actually, I might be losing the bishop, right? Oh, I just realized something. Jeez, it's not good. Let's go here. Yeah, I gotta give my Bishop a square at least, right? Hmm. Here, here, here. Okay. It's gonna get, it's gonna get funky. Hmm. Let's go here. Yep. Okay. So let's go here. Yeah, this is not good. Ah, oh, shit. I'm so losing this. Uh, maybe I can, you know, do something with on time. Okay, took, uh, which is not the best. Okay, still have a knight. Just have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Go here. Okay, let's go here. Okay, let's go here. Okay. Here, mm. like this. Oh, shit. I gotta give it up. I won on time. Jesus. Oof. Yeah, I wasn't winning that game.
maybe at some point I had a, maybe a slight advantage when I won the night if I played it perfectly. Uh, but let's take a look at the game review. Jeez. Yeah, 76 accuracy is not great. And I played like a 1750. So yeah, I knew this part. Okay, no, so knight f3 is theory. And I missed an opportunity here. Oh my god, this is why you should always look for tactics. 95, man. 95 sets up the mate. Um, yeah, bishop e6 is the best he has. And then he has this kind of thing where he can't really develop. And I'm already castled. So, okay, I need to remember this, like seriously. Um, bishop g4 after knight f3, which is the best move. Just, you know, knight e5. And if he takes the queen, this is mate. So d4 and knight f3 are pretty much interchangeable. All right. So that was a miss. And then we're a bit better. I still play d4. Wait, hold on. d4 knight takes. Queen takes b7. But I thought, you know, after this. Uh, I thought after this, you give up the central pawn for the blank pawn. Didn't really like it. What about knight f5? Bishop uh, b5 check. Yep, that is a slight inconvenience. And then you can actually take here and you're up a pawn. Damn, chess is hard. Okay, um, so I then played d4 and I kind of got hit with knight d4, you know. He started playing really well. Yeah, bishop d5, huh? An interesting move. To reroute the bishop to f3, I'm guessing. Okay. Yep. Yep. This was okay. Actually, he's still better here because he has uh, several pawns advantage. But here, yeah, I shouldn't have traded queens. If I go queen to e4, it's actually um, still worse for me because of the two pass. Uh, not pass pawns, but the two on one majority he has on the queen side, I believe. Yeah, here I'm just down. And I, um, oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't see this. It's very hard to play this position with uh, seconds on the clock, but yeah, if all I have to remember is after knight f3, which is a book move, to go knight e5. So over here, boom. Sack the queen, but you know, you have checkmate threat. We still get the victory, although, you know, scrape through uh, that game on time but it is what it is it was an interesting game i have to say well thanks guys uh for watching and i'll see everybody tomorrow with uh, another video peace